breaking news. And we begin with that deadly shooting in the Dorchester section of Boston. One man is dead, another wounded. It's a very active scene as police search for the gunman. Let's get right to WBZ's Julie McDonald with the very latest. Julie? Well, Paula and Liam, police still have a lot of questions about this double shooting that happened here on Vesta Road in Dorchester. The investigation focused on that house without the porch right there. Police, though, have been spending a lot of time in houses all around this one, though, making sure that no one is hiding and that these homes surrounding it are safe. What we do know, though, is that police were called here around 523 this evening. That's when the first call came in. When they arrived here, they found the first victim who had suffered a gunshot wound to the upper torso. He was rushed to the hospital and is being treated right now. The second victim, though, was found inside that house, 10 Vesta, and he had been shot and killed. Police then started canvassing this Vesta Road and the nearby Abbott Street, searching for suspects, any video or witnesses. They still aren't even sure they've identified all the players in this double shooting. Investigators say it does appear to be random, but it's unclear those two victims' relationship to each other or their relationship to this house. When police first entered the house, they did find another man who was inside at the time of the shooting. He is being interviewed right now, but has not been arrested yet. And in the update we just heard, though, Boston police saying it's extremely concerning to have yet another shooting in broad daylight with kids just next door. There's too many guns on the street, but this is definitely a village concept that we have to all work together in order to combat this. And we're talking about everyone, clergy, residents, everybody's included. Now, right now, investigators are working on obtaining a search warrant for that property, 10 Vesta. And in the meantime, trauma teams are here in the area and they're working to offer support and resources to the neighbors during this traumatic situation. Stay with WBZ as we continue to learn more about what happened here. For now, I'm live from Dorchester, Julie McDonald, WBZ News.